dávnom štáte je z Koreje a bude to byť anglicky, bude to byť preklad, kde si sluchátka týka do češtiny. Prosím. Most respected parlamentarian is the young Marostov Czech, deputy speaker of the House of Parliament and vice president of this com commission on the family and to all the three distinguished parliamentarians whom I just mentioned and who have all helped in various ways to make the holding of this event possible in such a wonderful venue at the Czech Parliament. Recon recognizing that all the many serious issues that we are faced with today, the most important and challenging is that of the family in crisis. This is Nina Novakova, MP. She not only took the lead role in making it possible for this conference, to be hosted here in Parliament, but gave a wholehearted support in the organizing of this event in a variety of other ways. We are truly deeply grateful to her. Let us give one big applause to her. <laughs> Representing the founders of the Universal Peace Federation, Dr. Samuel Moon and Dr. Hapchahan Moon from Korea. It is really a great honor for me to be given this opportunity to meet so many distinguished leaders in one place and to receive the benefit of your very valuable opinions on the issues of family. As you know, the theme of this conference is the family in the 21st century. The family is the nest in which each and every one of us lives every daily life. And from the beginning of human history, it has always been a key and integral part of society. The family has been fundamental to the history and the development of humanity and has also been the beginning point of the lives of human beings and continues to provide the eternal home for each one of us. Given such a stark reality as this, one might be tempted to think that the family could not be source of a problem. However, if that was the case, why would we have felt obliged to choose this particular topic as the burning issue that we simply had to address at our conference here today? It is truly deep irony that as we enter the 21st <coughs> century and at the point when human civilization has undoubtedly reached its highest level of development in certain respect. The family, which has continued to be the fundamental social unit in which our lives are rooted, has encountered a crisis of unprecedented severity as is more or less universally recognized. Despite the recognition of the severity of this crisis, no one really seems to have considered deeply enough what is its real root and what the solution it might be. Allow me to express my deepest respect to all of you, pioneers in this field, who have committed yourselves so seriously to the search for resolutions in this area at this time. What is the most important reason that we have to secure the family? The first, the family is the place where the life is created. Through this process of creation of life in the family, human history has continued to flourish and develop continuously from generation to 
to generation and through complex linear. <coughs> Amongst all of God's creation, human beings enjoy a unique and a special value not enjoyed by, by any other created beings. In some countries, however, human beings are so weak and vulnerable when compared to other creatures they, that they are unable to survive unless looked after and nurtured by their parents for a very considerable period of time after their birth. Therefore, through the human family, an environment of warm nurturing exists within which the different aspects of human life can be nurtured and ultimately over many years be completed. Second, the family is the school of, school of love. When human beings are born, they cannot function by themselves, but are destined to live connected to the network of love known as family. Love does not come about by itself, but spring falls when there is an object partner for one's love. Love multiplies more and more as it is expressed back and forth between oneself and the object of part one's love. Moreover, a loving heart cannot just be applied automatically, for it is something that can only be learned and taught in a natural way through experience. Therefore, there need to be some sort of institution where one can learn about love. Until now, however, there has neither been any educational institution nor any school subject whose specified purpose was to teach about love, not sex. It is only in the family that one can experience all dimensions of a true love. This is because all forms of true love known to humankind, such as parental love, conjugal love, <coughs> children's love for parents, and love between siblings, can only live, uh, really be experienced at least initially within the family unit. This is why the family, which is, is the school of law, is so absolutely necessary. Sir, the family is the basic unit that makes up a social community. Most animals in the ecosystem have a tendency to live in groups. Human beings in particular are destined to form basic living community that takes the form of a family, and enter into a relationship with other such families, we live together as family to form even greater social structures beyond the family level and thus protect one another. When the family as the most basic form of community is healthy, then the society too becomes healthy and peace is realized. Thus, the family can be seen to be the starting point for ideal world of peace originally designed by God. However, what is the reality in today's world 21st century life? The family unit is dysfunctional and broken, and the true value of family has become degraded. The value of marriage between a man and a woman has also lost its status to the point that it is regarded as nothing more than one option among many, and the school of love is fulfilling its role less and less. Since the family, which is the basic unit of society, is now so weak, its members are damaged and even traumatized through suffering from lack of love. And this leads to increasing social tension and conflicts. We 
because humanity today does not share the consciousness that we are all brothers and sisters on the heavenly heavens. We are unable to establish a cultural peace through which we can overcome such tensions and conflicts through to love. Respect all participants. I now look forward to listening to your own insight and opinions. Granted, our conference here today will provide us all with an opportunity to shed new light on such issues as the following. Specifically and concretely, what are the problems related to the family that we are faced with today? And how can we find a solution to those fundamental problems so as to so as ultimately to be able to establish a world of lasting <coughs> peace for all humanity. <coughs> Thank you very much. Já bych se teďka chtěl vrátit k poslednímu řečníku, 